Up this morning, we're following a developing story out of Mesa. Police are on the lookout for a killer after a woman's body was found at a smoke shop. ABC 15's Kimberly Chang on the scene near Maine and Greenfield. Uh, Kimberly, I know police haven't identified the person that was killed in this, but they are saying that it most likely was the person working there. All the customers are telling you only one person worked in that store. Right, Kirk, we're learning more about the presumed victim in this smoke shop murder. Uh, it happened right here behind me at the Cigarettes for Less smoke shop. Several customers in, and also the owners of the cleaners right next door telling us that there was only one woman who worked here. She was the owner of the store, described to us as hardworking, and many of them said they considered her a, quote, friend. Police say around 7.40 last night, a regular customer walked in and found her dead behind the counter. Investigators say it started out as a robbery. I'm told she had trauma to the body. Now there are surveillance cameras inside, but police haven't said if they have video from this crime. Several customers telling us that this woman, the owner of the store, worried constantly about being robbed and said she had run-ins with some of her customers. And Kirk, she believed that many of them were stealing from her and they were telling us that she probably had a lot of enemies, but at the same time, from the customers we're talking to, it appears as though she had a lot of friends who are very concerned uh, that she is the victim in this murder. Back to you. A lot of people describing a situation where she was always worried about people stealing, about uh, young people possibly being in the store and, and doing bad things. Uh, just kind of a sense, an overall sense of concern. And that's why she's had some cameras in there, right? Right, she does have two surveillance cameras in there, and I asked police if they have video from those cameras, but again, they, they wouldn't release that information, but you can see it one pointed directly at the door, so hopefully there are images. Uh, you know, and some of the customers even mentioned that in the past when she was concerned about some people stealing from her, that she had pulled images from those cameras and had pictures posted along the wall, uh, people who she did not want to serve, uh, customers that she felt were troublesome. So hopefully they will reveal a little bit more uh, in a few hours hours as police continue this investigation. Police working to get to the bottom of this. Kimberly Chang, live for us, covering this story. Thank you, Kim.